Hmm. Well, oh my god. Alright, well, <laughs> game over. I went to go on the teleporter pad and I died. Oh my god. Welcome back to another episode of Saturday Afternoon Gaming. I'm your host, Gaming J. Today, we're jumping into a Game Gear game. We haven't played too many Game Gear games on my channel, and so recently I looked up top Game Gear games, and this was one of the games that came up, and I thought, you know what, we should play a Game Gear game. This game is Arena, also known as Maze of Death in Japan, which I think is a way cooler name. I don't know why, uh, I don't know why they changed the name to Arena. Gotta take something away from the game. Um, this is an isometric action video game uh, where you control a one-person mercenary squad who's trapped in a heavily guarded and deadly arena, uh, and you your goal is basically to survive. I think this game is sort of like uh, The Running Man, in fact, if you guys saw that old Arnold Schwarzenegger Running Man movie. Oh, here we go. Here's the story. You're on your own now. Find the blue security exit in this warehouse. Good luck. I picture the uh, the dog from Star Fox, the commander, saying that. I don't know why, but... Um, anyway, this is it. Uh, so you are a dude, and I can stab people, and I can shoot. Those are my two options. All right, let's go exploring, try and find this uh, blue exit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I got hit by a bullet. Oh, man, it's actually really hard to line up your shots in uh, in this isometric angle here. Also, the bullets seem to do very little. Stabbing people seem to work well. Do I have a life bar? I keep getting hit, but am I close to dying? Is there a way to tell? Um, oh yeah, my energy probably. That's my life. Oh, and you actually have ammo too. Boy, it would be real nice to have all this on a heads-up display so I could know while I'm playing if I'm low on health or I'm about to die, but... Um, anyway. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to line shots up in an isometric viewpoint, but hopefully we adapt to that. The story for this game, by the way... This game takes place in the year... We're dead. <laughs> this game takes place in the year 2026. A television broadcasting company called... Let's see what the name is here. Hold on. Oh, God. I'm dying to robots. I should not be trying to read a backstory while I'm in the middle of being chased down by robots. So let me get out of here first. Um. So hold on here. Oh, God. A guy just teleported in. Okay, let me kill this guy. There stabs... I can't tell if stabs are actually worth it or not. Anyway, here's the backstory. Television- Oh, he teleported back again! Okay. Oh, wait, that's the blue door. Oh, do I just need, like, a, a key card and I can get out of here? I'm straight up dead again. This is our test run, guys. After this run here, we're gonna reset and we're gonna play this game for real. Um, I will read you the backstory at some point. How about I focus on passing this first level and then we can muse about the amusing backstory that exists for this game. Um, oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. That's that is way better than the crappy gun we had. Okay, can we shoot this? Can't tell if I'm hitting that guy or not. Can we just walk through this? No. Oh, God, it's just straight up killing us. <laughs> okay, hold on. Is there a way to like roll or something? No. Okay, hold on, we'll kill this guy. Killed. We, like, stab this. Okay, maybe there's, like, a switch to turn that off. I don't know. The isometric viewpoint, by the way, reminds me of Shadowrun, which is, like, one of my favorite Super Nintendo games, even though I only ever played it, like, once as a kid, and I couldn't even get that far. Um, it was just, it was, like, a cyberpunk mercenary RPG adventure thing. Oh, that was probably the switch that we needed. Um... And, yeah, it was just an awesome game. There were orcs, there was magic, there was, you know, guns, there was mercenaries, there was all sorts of stuff. Great game. Um, I did play it a long time ago. I think it was part of the 1001 book. Um, or maybe it wasn't. No, it was, it was. Um, so, you know, if you're interested, you can go look it up if you've never heard of it. But, yeah, this game kind of, appearance-wise, feels a lot like Shadowrun. Oh, my God. Um, what is this that I just got? Is that a key? Oh, God. These guys keep teleporting in, so I guess they spawn forever. Yeah, I got some kind of brown key card. I'm gonna go try it on the door and 
see what happens. We kill this guy. Do we not need health? Are we at full health? Oh yeah, look, our energy is it it goes red, yellow, and then green, baby, when you're maxed out on health. So we are high on the health meter. Oh god, there's a guy. Ouch. Okay, wait, now we need the health. Go back, let's be full health. There we go. It's so weird how it doesn't show you your health or ammo or anything on the main screen. You just have to guess. But how healthy do you feel? I don't know. Take a guess. How many bullets you got on you? No idea. I'd have to stop and look. And of course, when you do pause the game, all the enemies give you the courtesy, you know, they're not going to attack you while the game's paused. That would be disrespectful. Violates the code of the game. Okay, so obviously whatever we got doesn't open that door yet. But there was another door up here, I think. Oh, it was a- oh, a brown door, I see. Okay, that, that makes sense. Ooh, what is... we want this? Oh, let's give it a shot. Oh, it's a crappy gun! We got tricked! We got tricked! Oh, what god, where's my good gun? <laughs> we got tripped, tricked into picking up a, a crap gun. Alright, well, fool me once, I'll never be fooled like that again. Not happening. We did pa we did surprisingly pass the first level, though. Yes, let me in! We did it! Well done! The next warehouse has a blue security exit as well. All right, there. Went all in on the blue security exit doors. Anyway, I'm going to pause the game. We'll actually, I'll actually read you the story here. Because you guys probably have been wondering what is going on in this game. So this game takes place in the year 2026. A television broadcast company called Astralnet Broadcasting Company, also known as ABC, was created to secretly control the population and keep them brainwashed. A pro-democratic sympathizer, Guy Freelander, is charged with the task of navigating through the warehouse district and various other places to enter a high-rise building through a weakly defended back door and broadcast proof of the evil corporation's wrongdoings over the television stations. Convinced that they play the tape through ABC's broadcasting, they can convince the repressed population to rise up against the current regime. So, a global company that controls all the news and they are brainwashing the population into believing conspiracy theories and all sorts of other garbage. You know what, they, they really pegged the 2020s very accurately in this game. The one thing, the one thing that I think they got wrong is that uh, this would all be on TV. You know, who watches TV anymore? Well, I guess actually the real problem is people who are watching, uh, you know, cable news and stuff are getting all brainwashed and stuff. So maybe they're maybe this game is like really accurate. Okay, I take it back. You know, the most inaccurate thing about this is the idea that if people who were brainwashed by these evil corporations got wind of their evil doings, that that would actually change anything. <laughs> it's totally the way the news that pe people who buy into like extreme, you know, alt news, if you show them the corruption behind their alt news sources, they just ignore it. And the alt news sources say, We're being persecuted! Oh god, somebody told the truth and we don't like it! And it's just not true! And then everyone's like, Yeah, why is everyone always trying to like, you know, tell us that we're wrong? That really sucks! And it's like, well maybe if you stop believing stuff that's crazy and wrong, we wouldn't have to tell you that you're wrong all the time. So, you know. You know who I'm talking about, if you know who I'm talking about. I'm not gonna name names, but... Long story short, this game is shockingly accurate about the 2020s. <laughs> Evil broadcasting company, conspiracies, controlling the population, they got it all. They got it all right. Oh man, I forgot about those things. Okay, we're just running. We're just running. Oh god, oh, I'm just taking lasers to the face. You know what I haven't been paying attention to is how many lives do we have? I know that when we die, we just sort of respawn. And we died like two or three times on the first level. But... I'm kind of wondering... At first I thought maybe we have infinite lives, but I think when I paused once, I did see a life counter, so we probably have lives. So we shouldn't be too reckless here. Like, okay, let's actually... Uh, okay, there's a blue door. Oh god, get out of here. There's not a lot of advantage to, like, staying and fighting a lot of the times. Like, you might as well just run away, it seems, when you encounter bad guys. Like, is this a door? That is a door. Oh, we're outside. What's going on? Anything out here but cages? No? Just a bunch of cages, eh? Anything over here? There's, there's literally no points of coming out here. There's not even bad guys to fight. 
I guess if you need a smoke break, you go up there. Oh god, get out of here. Oh man, I, that spread gun that I had... Uh, giving that gun up was the biggest mistake ever made in this game. We gotta find that gun again and get it back. Alright, we got the brown key card. That will serve us well. Oh god, robot! Oh god, dudes! Oh, robots and dudes! Alright, we snuck past them using our guile and wit and a bit of gun. Gun will also serve you well in the world of... Death Maze. Or Arena, as it's known in Europe. So, such a, like... Arena, it doesn't even... It's, like, so calm of a name, you know? Like, it doesn't really portray anything, really. It just sort of feels, like, very basic. Um, oh my god. Yes, the spread gun! Oh, sweet. Okay, coming out here was totally worth it. Anything else out here? Just these dudes. Oh god, oh god. Okay, there we go. It's kind of just a maze game. You just have to sort of figure out where you're going. I kind of wish I had a map. I don't think there's any- I'm trying select. It doesn't do anything for a map. Oh, here's a new door. Around in here. Alright, there's the blue door. Alright, we can exit. We can officially exit. So how do we get back to the exit? I was at the exit before. And that guy... It's just a big open area, it seems. Yeah, there's like literally nothing over here. Okay, I think- so I think we just backtrack? Ow. That guy spawned on me. Um, you know what? I guess this game actually isn't so much like The Running Man. I thought when I read the description of the backstory that you were like- it was broadcasting on TV that you were in this death maze or whatever. Um, but I guess that's actually not the case. You're just some dude who's trying to free the masses, you know, from, uh, their evil corporate overlords. Boom. Two levels down! We suspect that the exit of the, the next warehouse is blue. Oh, is green. I like how they suspect it. They're like, you know, we sent in reconnaissance teams to find out if the green door is the exit. Sources say, probably. Ow. Got hit there. Who conveyor belts now? Things are getting real. Oh, God. The oh, that guy. So this game was an exclusive on the Game Gear, which is why I wanted to play it. I mean, I, I was looking up Game Gear games to play, and frankly, the, you know, a lot of games that are on Game Gear were also released on other systems, and I didn't necessarily want to play a game that was just on other systems, because then it's sort of like, well, why would you play it on the Game Gear? I mean, I guess, you know, to play a Game Gear game, but if the Game Gear is just sort of a dumbed-down version of a game on another system, it sort of feels like, well... Why not just play it on the other system, you know? So I wanted to play something that sort of, you know, existed really only on the Game Gear, because I think that's more of a fun idea. Um, and there are a handful. Um, I'm curious why this game was never really released. Oh, God. Um, was never really released off of any other system, you know? Like, why the Game Gear, I wonder? Um, okay, so that blue door is not an exit. But I think there was a door over here. Yeah, here's the brown door. I wonder if you get any more guns or anything, like grenades would be very handy in this. Oh god, oh god, and we're dead. <laughs> Jeez, we're, we're probably gonna get a game over soon, I'm guessing. Oh my god, I fell into a pit and died. Yeah, and there's our- that, that's the game over that we were overdue for. Okay. Oh, and that's it, eh? Alright, let's give this one more shot here. Um, actually, could we enter a password? Yo, let's look up a password. These are actually pretty long passwords. And all these passwords do, by the way, is, uh, let you start at a level. You know, like, they could probably have been four-letter passwords. Like, they don't have to be this long. This is actually pretty crazy. Um, also, I like how the erase button is rub. Rub. Such like a weird word for like backspace or erase, but you know, like rub out one of the letters, yo. Also, this is another annoying thing about annoying password screens is, you know, like say you're here at five and you're like, okay, and then I need seven, now I need three. If I go to the right and try and go to the right again, I should pop back over to the three, but you can't. You have to go all the way over to the three. Anyway, let's, uh, 
see this password in action. Oh wait, it, it's not working. Wait, did I enter something wrong? S72AGO3R40 Y or Y9 48YX 7Y. Wait, 48YX 7Y. Ah, there we go. I was missing a letter. Wow, that that password, they really like push it to the end. <laughs> like, we don't want people accidentally guessing their way to another level. We need, we need like 16 character, alphanumeric, 256 bit special character hex passwords here to prevent people from cheating. So there's my level password in case you guys uh, want it. So the first level is the old warehouse. The second is the astral chemical plant. This is the outside zone. I picked it. Oh God, I just straight up died. <laughs> okay. I thought that was grass. That is clearly like toxic waste or something. I picked the outside zone because I was like, it sounds kind of cool. Like, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh my God. Okay. Um, let's get this all ready. Um, I picked the outside zone because I thought it sounded kind of cool and maybe the levels would be a little different than what we just experienced. But frankly, oh my God, there's zombie dudes. Frankly, this looks just like the first level, the warehouse level. It It's just like the, it's just been palette swapped. <laughs> like, oh my God, oh my God. Jeez. I mean, okay, this looks a little different, I guess. Oh my god, you can- Oh, wait! You can throw grenades! That is- that is, uh, something. So you do get grenades in this game. Okay. Um... Let me press this. Boom! Grenade it! What did that actually do for us? What is this? Like a ladder or something? This is nothing. Okay, is there anywhere to go out here? Oh my god. Annihilated. Um, we got here through a teleporter, right? Oh, but there's no teleporter to get out of here. I think the fence is electric too, by the way. Um, okay, is there anything in here? Oh, there's this. Oh god, die! Oh, that doesn't kill him! Oh, that guy shot a rocket out of his face! Can he be killed? Yeah, I guess he can. Oh god. Oh my god, I forgot these guys respawn. Oh my god, and we're dead already. Maybe we'll get a chance to try another password here. Oh, I thought the grenades wiped out everything on the screen. That is not the case. Okay, what the hell are we supposed to do here? There's only like two doors. Run in here. Get out of here, zombie. Click that switch. Die. Um, there's health. Kill that. I mean, like, hack the computers or something? There's gotta be something with this thing right here. Or it's just totally background. I am so confused. Die, die. Oh, all the barrels blow up. You could probably have shot that and killed those guys. Good to know. Okay, am I crazy? Okay, that- oh, the gate just killed me. Oops, didn't mean to go back in there. Okay, we're gonna go back this way. And... Is there anything to do in here? Die! Oh, there's a teleporter. When did that appear? Okay, let's try going this way this time. Um, hey, an extra life. We definitely need that. There's a door here. Can we blow up these barrels? Oh, they- wait, it blowed up and <laughs> I was too close! Well, I'm really bad at this game. Apparently, I was never meant to run in a death maze. When you've got death mazes, don't call J. Here's another teleporter. Uh, I guess this just takes us back? Oh no, it takes us to a new place. Huh. The teleporters are kind of cool, like a one- Oh, what are, what are these things? Oh my god, demons! Oh, that was sweet. We three for one them. You know what else this kind of reminds me of? Is almost like an updated Fester's Quest. Do you guys remember Fester's Quest? It was another game we played, I think in the Saturday Afternoon series at one point. Um, your Uncle Fester from the Adams Family. 
and you run around and fight monsters and stuff. Hey, we got a green key card. No idea where to use it, but we have it. Um, teleport over there, right? Yeah. Ooh, get this instead. Oh yeah, the spread gun. See the good. <laughs> Died instantly. Game over. <laughs> I was gonna say, the good thing about the spread gun is that it spreads out so you don't have to line up with the guys. So it's like if they're shooting directly at you, you can stand to the left of that so they can't hit you, but then you can hit them because your shot's spread out. That's what makes it so good. Killing people in an isometri isometric viewpoint in this game is actually kind of hard because they one-shot you really easily. Anyway, we might as well uh, enter another password here. This other password I've got starts you just three levels from the final stage, so... You know. Obviously, I'm going to screw it up once we get there. Um, XT2AGA97S. Oops. <laughs> S. Invalid password! Man, that sucks. It, like, boots you right out of here when you enter a wrong password. Why are these passwords so long? It is ridiculous. I guess the passwords don't only record what level you're on, but they also record like how much ammo and stuff you've got and how many lives, but like they couldn't have figured out a way to like make these passwords shorter. I don't know, man. Like I've seen complicated games that have uh, shorter passwords, you know? The game I always remember is having the longest password was River City Ransom. That game had a long password as a kid. But that was basically like an RPG that didn't have a save state. It had passwords instead. So it's like you had to track like 32 character stats that could be between values of 0 and 64. And like money and upgrades and all sorts of stuff. You had to track a ton of stuff and inventory. So it was like three rows. I, I kind of feel like this password here though is about half the length of River City Ransom's. And River City Ranch was like an RPG, man. Um, anyway, congratulations. Good luck. Go do a thing. I kind of didn't read any of that, so we're just going in blind on this one. Oh, hello. We are now, by the way, this is the tunnels. That's what this level is called. Let's see what we got going on in here. Oh, what is this? Stuff that I don't understand. Oh, hello, lasers. Oh, ow. I keep saying what this game reminds me of, but another thing it does remind me of is uh, ZX Spectrum games. Oh god, that wasn't a wall, that was a cliff? Okay. Um, I'm just gonna start pressing switches. Um, if I've played a few ZX Spectrums. I think, like, Night Lore and stuff. ZX Spectrum Adventure Games were, was really into the isomet isometric viewpoint. And really into this idea of, like, um, levels that, um, I'm trying to think of, like, how to describe it. They're sort of like you go in a door and then you'd be in another room and the room would sort of be a somewhat self-contained puzzle. That's kind of what this is like. I mean, ro the rooms in here aren't really puzzly and you can't, like, pick up items and stuff. The same way you could in a ZX Spectrum game, but it's similar. What is this gun? Oh, it's like some kind of bomb gun. Alright. And I'm dead. <laughs> oh god, get out of here. Lee. Okay, remember the blue doors in there, guys. Um, sure. Oh! Oh, what is this? It's a trap. Okay, I guess we don't need the health. We no longer- health is no longer health- health packs, it's now floating hearts. So I don't know when that change happened. The world of arena. Um, can we go in this door? No, we can't. What are these things? Oh, they're things that hurt you. Obviously, I should have guessed that. So these levels are getting bigger and more complicated and harder for me to find my way around. You know what? I feel like we're just going to die this level due to attrition. Forget about the game's too difficult. Oh, look, they just gave us that gun. I, I kind of like this bomb gun. It's different. I want to give it a shot. But, I mean, I guess we can't find out which way to go. Um, okay. Slime. We'll avoid the slime. We have a key card. I, I guess not. Thought we picked one up, but... Oh, uh, here's... Okay. There's the brown one. Um. 
Boom. What's in here? Anything? Die! Oh, another one of these. Alright, we'll take it. So I wonder who is the head of this ABC corporation, because they have, a. Uh, they have aliens to teleport in as, like, superhuman guards. Doesn't seem like, uh... Doesn't seem like a human corporation. Seems like something run by monsters. Also, if you're gonna create an evil organization in the future, can I just say, don't name it ABC? It sounds so benign. It's like the Alphabet Company. You know, ABC, one, two, three, we're gonna kill you all! Oh, what is that? Hold on. Oh, yeah, destruct- oh, destructible walls, that's pretty cool. Boom! Die! Die! Okay, and we're dead. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can actually kill these guys. Oh, God. It's so hard to hit them. It's, like, just hard to aim at the right angle in this game. Okay, we're making progress, though. If we pass one of these, oh, what is this? Oh, a flamethrower! That's kind of cool. Ooh, another switch. Ooh, and a blue key card. Alright. I still haven't figured out what those, uh, pads on the ground are. Did that guy just one-shot me? I thought I was full health. But apparently I was not. Not after he attacked me, at least. Oh my god, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Jeez. Okay, you can only really get hit twice by these guys, and you're dead. It's like... Shooting at an angle sucks, man. <laughs> We're not even gonna get through this hallway, it's just game over. Oh wait, maybe I can throw a grenade? Oh, that didn't even do anything! Die! Okay, like, what do these pads actually do? I don't 100% understand what they even are. Oh god. Oh, I threw a grenade behind me! See, this gate is isometric, eight directional, uh, you know, precise shooting games weren't meant for a, gen uh, a Game Gear D-pad, you know? I'm just saying. Just saying. Oh, the blue door was, like, way over here, wasn't it? Like, way down this way. I'm remembering. That green door is probably the exit. Oh, man, look at this. Go! Well, I thought we were dead. Ooh, what's in here? Anything good? Okay, I don't trust that. I don't trust that at all. Probably takes you to a room full of one-ups, actually, but whatever. We're too cowardly for that. If it looks too easy in a game like this, it's probably gonna kill you. Oh, God! And those guys also were gonna kill us. Like we fled from them. Ooh, a heart. Definitely need that this time. Okay, I guess we gotta fight these guys. Huh! Huh! Oh, yeah, we got them. Oh, we got both of them. Oh, and here's a blue door! Wow, I actually remembered where thing was. Oh my god, and we got a green key! Holy crap, we might actually pass a level here. Oh no, they're gonna kill us! Now we got away. I'm really curious where that teleporter goes that we said nope to that was right over here, but... I am too cowardly to try it. It's pro- it probably would be the end of me, oh god. Man, those things shoot in, like, irregular patterns. Oh, shoot, that's not the end. All right, well, here's a teleporter we get to try. Where does this take us? Over here. Okay, well, there's two doors. Try this one first. This one's a little more hidden. Okay. No bad guys. Doing good. Oh, a switch. All right, we, we went the right way. Went the right way. Oh, God, there's a... <laughs> Flee! Oh, I almost- Ah! Okay, thank God we're still alive. I was gonna say, I almost fell in the pit and then I did. Um, these- these levels are, like, big and maze-like. You know, there's a, a thing in, like, the... 80s and 90s to make games mazes. I don't know if it started with Doom, but it definitely occurred in Doom and Wolfenstein. Like, any first-person shooter was generally a maze. I feel like games nowadays, first-person shooters especially, have gotten away from the maze mechanic. And they're all about, like, checkpoints and, like, putting you into an area where you fight your way forward through a level. And, you know, as you move through the stage, areas behind you lock off, so you can't backtrack. 
you know, and you don't need to really backtrack very much, but like lots of first person shooters back in the day were mazes. And I feel like that goes back even before the first person shooters, like the games that first person shooters, you know, were emulating and that they designed their levels after were themselves not first person shooters, but they were very maze like, like this, like, like, I think it was just a thing like back in the eighties and nineties, like lots of games had very mazy levels. Um, I, I, the one thing that I don't like about games like this is, like, it honestly hurts my head sometimes to, like, try and remember all the different places I've been and where I haven't been. And, like, for instance, right now, we have unlocked every single colored door. We flipped a whole bunch of switches, but where do we go now? I have no idea. I have honestly no idea. So I'm just gonna kind of go places and we'll just see what happens. We'll see if maybe we can find... A pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. There's nothing here. Oh yeah, flamethrower. Forgot I should torch these guys. Okay, was there anything in here? There was literally nothing. I think it was just a key card. Can you do anything to these walls? I cannot. Okay, let's get out of here before the rocks kill us. Alright, so where have we not been is the question. Oh my god, I... Okay. How many lives do we have, by the way? We've blown through, like, ten. Like, look, we have every single card. We have tons of ammo, tons of grenades. Whoever's cheat code we took to get to this level, they're good at this game. <laughs> Way better than me. Where the hell do I go? If this level was just a bit more linear, it would be so much easier, but it's like, got teleporters and backtracking and this and that, and I have no idea where the hell I am. Frankly. Oh, we just died again. Hey, right, come on. Die, jeez. Okay, anything there's like literally oh, there's a door. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure we've been here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have unless Nope, that's not a door. Anything cool in here? Switch that we uh, have already pressed. Hmm. Well, oh my god. All right. <laughs> Game over. I went to go on the teleporter pad and I died. Well, this has been Arena, also known as Maze of Death in Japan. It's a game for the uh, Game Gear. It's an interesting game. Um, I will say it's like not my favorite uh, Game Gear game. The isometric viewpoint, like some games I feel like I really like you know how they do it and other games i'm not sure if it works as much this game i had a hard time aiming and shooting guys and i was getting hit a lot when i was trying to line up my shots i mean it's one of the problems of trying to play a game like this on an old an old console you know like nowadays this would be a dual analog stick game so you could be moving with one analog stick and aiming with the other but in this one if you want to shoot somebody who's you, to your right you have to press right and you're not only going to turn that way you're going to walk in that direction and so that creates a problem where you're always running straight at your enemy so it's really hard to like strafe around their shots and avoid getting hit while you attack them with a dual analog stick you could easily fix this game so that you could do that and i think the shooting mechanics would improve a lot um so yeah the sort of isometric i mean I, it's probably not even a problem with the isometric viewpoint really it's just sort of the older style of controls when they only had a d-pad and that's how you control your character it makes it a lot harder to shoot in this game um i do like the graphics and the style of this game again it reminds me of like shadow run which was you know i was a huge fan of on the super nintendo i really should go back and play that again sometime we never did beat it so i should do like a real like a long play and like go through it all from start to finish i think that'd be fun um, but yeah, it's got cool aesthetics. It's like a fun little game. I think if I had a Game Gear back in the day and I own this, I wouldn't be too upset about it. But, uh, you know. Oh my god, we were playing it on hard difficulty? No wonder we sucked. Well, we're not gonna, we're not gonna keep going because I think the, the real impediment to us actually beating this game is not necessarily survival, but like figuring out the mazes. And like on that last maze, I had no idea where to go, so... Like how this guy's just watching me, you dick. Anyway, what do you guys think of Arena slash Maze of Death here? Is it a game that you played back in the day? Had you heard of it before? Does it look cool or interesting? Do you have any fun tricks or tips or memories that you'd like to share with us? 
Whatever the case may be, sound off in the comments down below. And as always, whatever you think of the game, hopefully today was fun and interesting for you. If it was, don't forget to slap that like button and do all the other good YouTube things, like sharing this video with everyone you know, and... Uh, I don't know, what else do you do on YouTube? You subscribe, you share, you comment. You comment, gotta get those, uh, those engagements up. And I guess that's all you can do on YouTube, so yeah, do all those things. Um... But I hope you guys did have fun, and uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. So until next time, my friends, go take care of yourselves, and peace. Oh my god, I fell into a pit and died. <laughs>